right, now we have to make a turn. We're talking about the fall. We're talking about apples. You may have noticed you're paying more for your apples this time of year. Well, the fruit is at the center of many beloved traditions, like trips to the orchard, to the farmer's market, making pies. And for the people who grow them and those who love to eat them, this fall's harvest comes with a set of unusual challenges, including, including inflation, labor shortages as well. And those issues threaten to wipe orchards out. Scott McFarland has more. Baron Shaw runs a family farm and apple orchard in York County, Pennsylvania. They got its start in 1841. So it's striking to hear Shaw say he's facing challenges this year, unlike any year before. How stressful is that for you to try to get through your business and through the week? Inflation makes it very stressful. I mean, the fuel prices, the energy costs, all of it is going up. Inflation is squeezing industries of all sorts, but for this delicate industry, which produces this delicate fruit, they're seeing a perfect storm down the supply chain that's hitting growers hard. You don't go into this business unless you've got a lot of faith, a lot of faith in God, a lot of faith in the family members around you. And, um, you know, that's what keeps me going. Unlike so many other items in the produce aisle that benefit from automated farming practices, Apples are picked by hand and require intensive, specialized labor to harvest. <coughs> Shaw says they can't find domestic workers for this intensely physical job. The industry relies heavily on international migrant laborers using H-2A visas. Their wages are set by the federal government and vary state by state. Every year that price goes up and up and we don't have a whole lot of say in that. So we just have to pay, pay what the government tells us. It needs That's out of your control? Completely out of our control. Shaw saw the wage for H-2A workers increase 10% from last year, up to $15.78 an hour. And across the country, H-2A wages have been going up 5 to 10% every year. The U.S. Apple Industry Association estimates total labor costs have spiked 30% this year. How do you plan one year, five year, 10 years in the future? It's a very challenging issue right now. Apples on average cost 6% more this year. But that's not all because of labor. In fact, most farmers aren't seeing more money in their pockets. So it's inflation that's causing some of the industry's biggest customers to see the most dramatic effects. About 1,500 to 2,000 apples a day to serve our kids. You need 2,000 apples a day. A day a day to meet our needs. In Montgomery County, Maryland, this is the first year ever public schools won't be able to serve a fresh seasonal apple for lunch. Local apples this fall cost them three times as much. They'll have to stick with cheaper pre-packaged slices instead, less apple for each child. How important is an apple to a kid? Apples are our number one fresh fruit that our kids love, whether it's a whole apple or apple slices, number one choice, and that's pre-K to 12th grade. For farmers like Baron Shaw to weather this economic storm, they're trying to lure you to buy at the apple orchard itself this fall to cut out the middlemen. They can offer a lower price and land a bigger profit if you pick it off the trees than off a grocery store shelf. I have um, one, two, three, four. And for your local yeah. apple orchard, that could be the tipping point. Some orchards somewhere in America, if they can't sell directly to people on their farm, they're going to go out of business. It's very, very possible, yes. These businesses really are not sustainable unless they're profitable because there's, there's no reason for the next generation to do this if they can't make a living and can't make a retirement doing it. For CBS Mornings, I'm Scott McFarlane in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania.